Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whichever you are listening and watching to our 2019-20 banquet. I would like to start out with a prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. Lord Jesus, you came into this world to heal our infirmities and to endure our sufferings. You went about healing all and bringing comfort to those in pain and need. We come before you now in this time of illness, asking that you may be the source of our strength and body, courage and spirit, and patience and pain. May we join ourselves more closely to you on the cross and your suffering. Through them, we may draw our patience and hope, assist us and restore us to health, so that united more closely to your family, the church, we may give praise and honor to your name. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. I have quite a few people to thank, so I'll start out with Mr. Adi. I am so grateful that 27 years ago that you gave me the opportunity to start my head coaching career as a basketball coach. I am forever grateful for this opportunity that you just offered me the job with no interview. And congratulations and best of luck in your retirement. I'd like to thank the parents on all three levels for your great support throughout the year. I'd like to thank my athletic director, Nick Reed, my assistant athletic director, Maureen Kaiser, and also Sue Koltmeyer, the best trainer anywhere, Mike Bowling. I'd like to thank the girls basketball coach, Todd Smart, because it makes it very easy if you can coexist in one gym. It made an easy transition with Todd becoming a new coach this year. I'd like to thank Mary Ann Croft for all her help down at the All-A Tournament. I'd like to thank Mark Setters for all his pictures and the time he has taken to do that. I'd like to thank our staff at the scorer's table, Steve Koltmeyer, Jeff Schuler, and Jerry Cook. I'd like to thank my two scorekeepers, Denny Seibert and Jim Lageman. I'd like to thank my videographer, Luke Mason, my three statisticians for the varsity who have done this all four years, who I'm forever grateful for the time and effort that they put into this. Aaron Arthur, Emily Croft, and Kylie Sheldon. I also like to thank Noah Francis, who did it for Coach Arthur on the JV. And I'd like to thank all the players on all three levels for the hard work and de dedication that you gave this year. What a great year for Crusader basketball. And I would especially like to thank my seniors Alex, Luke, Connor, and Charlie for their leadership throughout the year. Lastly, I'd like to thank my coaching staff, Jim and Jake Getz, John Patula, Billy Arthur, Brian O'Connor, and Bill Grimmy. For I am forever grateful for the time that they put into our program and care as much about these kids on and off the court. Lastly, I'd like to thank the voice of St. Henry Max Schluter, for the, time, for the time that he comes into the gym after school, for practices and all the games, and for his great work on the radio to Crusader Land. As you enjoy the rest of this presentation, emceed by our special guests, please do not hesitate to text or email any of the coaching staff if you have questions about the dead period, AAU, etc. We will continue to update you as we get more information. Please stay healthy and safe. Stay in shape and continue to work on your skills. Make sure you thank your parents for everything they have done for you. And again, thank you to everyone involved in making this a very memorable season. Now to finish, the voice of St. Henry, Max Schluter. Thanks, Coach. The freshman boys basketball program would like to thank the SHDHS administration, the director of basketball operations, Mike Bowling, the coaching staff, and Mr. Fetters and Mr. Grayson for keeping the scorebook. And we would also like to thank all the kids for their hard work day in and day out, and the parents for their time and effort driving the kids to and from practices and games every single day. We had a very good season this year with much success. The team had 17 wins and three losses, with the tournament championship and the quarterfinal tournament appearance. At the beginning of the year, the team lost their first game 
but then they went on to win the next five games by an average margin of 16 points. They beat the eventual freshman tournament champion, the Covington Catholic Colonels, on their home court for one of the few times in Coach Getz's career. During the middle of the year, they found even more success with a seven win and zero losses record by winning the Holy Cross freshman Christmas tournament against the Dixie Colonels. Members of the all-tournament team were Al Bessler, Jack Grayson, Matt Reising, and Braden Fenners, as he was the MVP of the tournament. We finished the last part of the season with five wins and two losses, and the last loss being against the Beachwood Tigers in the quarterfinals of the freshman tournament to give us an impressive 17-3 record on the season. Thank you again to everyone who made this such a special and successful year. Now to introduce your freshman basketball team. Number one, Danny McMahon. Number three, Rhett Ravenscraft. Number four, Ethan Kaiser. Number five, Sam Martin. Number 10, Kyle Ziegelmeyer. Number 11, Jack Grayson. Number 12, Matthew Reising. Number 13, Jackson Miller. Number 14, Luke Keeper. Number 21, Cameron Levend. Number 22, Al Bessler. Number 23, Braden Fetters. Manager, Nick Browning. And now for the freshman team honors as voted by the players. For co-most improved player, Al Bessler and Danny McMahon. For freshman most valuable player, Braden Fetters. Please enjoy some pictures of the best moments of the season. Now for the JV team coached by Bill Arthur and Brian O'Connor. The JV team had a great season for the third season in a row. They only finished with four losses and they ended the season 17 and four. They opened the season against the three C's, Cooper, Connor, and Covcalf, and they won two out of those three. They ended the month of December with a six and one record. 2020 started with a bang as we beat Lexington Catholic only to follow up with a Matinee lost the next day to the Boone County Rebels. Poor scheduling on our part. After beating Calvary Christian and Holmes in the first two rounds of the JV tournament, we lost to the eventual champion Highland, Highlands Bluebirds. After that loss, we reeled off five straight wins before losing a tough rematch to Holmes. We finished the year getting some redemption by beating Highlands by 18 to finish the year at 17 and four. We would like to thank the players for their tremendous effort throughout the season and pushing the varsity every day in practice. We were a big part in their success. And now for the JV boys basketball team. Number 10, Vincent Croyle. Number 13, Matt Setters. Number 15, Gabe Bryan. Number 25, Brandon McNamara. Number 32, Camden Fetters. Number 33, Owen Setters. Number 14, Hagen Pierce. Number 11, Charlie Casey. Statistician, Noah Francis. And now for the JV team honors as voted by the players. JV most improved player, Charlie Casey. JV most valuable player, Gabe Ryan. And now here are some pictures from the season. And now for the 2020 Boys Varsity St. Henry basketball team. The St. Henry basketball team ended the season with a 25-5 record. They're the ninth region All-A Classic champions and the Kentucky All-A Classic state champions. We're also the 34th district champions and the ninth region semifinalists. 
The crew got off to an unbelievable start, going 6-2 and two to end the 2019 part of the season. And we opened up 2020 with a huge win over previously undefeated top five Lexington Catholic and a win over our district rival Dixie. The ninth region All-A Classic Championship week opened up with a win over Holy Cross and ended with wins over NCC and Beachwood on our home court, which was outstanding. The following week, we got wins over Campbellsville, Somerset, and Hazard and topped it off with a win over Frankfurt on that Sunday to win our second Kentucky All-A Classic State Championship. It was absolutely unbelievable. After that tournament, we earned the number one seed with a come-from-behind victory over Lloyd. During this time, we had a 10-game winning streak, but that ended with a loss at home to Beachwood. We then bounced back to win six in a row, including the 34th District Championship and a first-round win over Cooper in the ninth region tournament. Ultimately, the season ended with a loss to the ninth region champions, Cuffcat. Throughout the season, I think the resiliency that the team showed was incredible with comeback wins over NCC, Somerset, Hazard, Lloyd, Highlands, Dixie, and Cooper. This really showed the true character of this team. What a great year for Crusader basketball with a combined record of 59 wins and 12 losses. This concludes the 2019-2020 season. And now for the St. Henry boys varsity basketball team. At guard, a senior number four, Connor Shea. At guard, a senior number five, Alex Daniel. At forward, a senior number 21, Luke Mayer. At guard, a senior number 34, Charlie Watson. At guard, a junior number 23, Ryan Butler. At forward, a junior number 22, Jude Bessler. At guard, a junior number three, Corey Shea. At center, a junior number 42, Cody Teton. At guard, a junior number 12, Wyatt Veith. At forward, a junior number 24, Reed Ravenscraft. At guard, a junior number 25, Brennan McNamara. At guard, a junior number 15, Gabe Ryan. The three basketball statisticians, Emily Croth, Aaron Arthur, Kylie Sheldon. Team manager, Max Schluter. Video manager, Luke Mason. The Dobo, Mike Bowling. And now for the varsity team honors. Varsity most improved player, Ryan Butler. Varsity most valuable player, Wyatt Veith. Crusader of the Year nominee, Connor Shea. I'm Max Schluter, the voice of the Crusader basketball, and it's been my pleasure to narrate the 19-2020 basketball season. Until next year, please enjoy these unforgettable moments of our season. Thank you, and remember to wash your hands. Ball is tipped, and there you are. You're running for your life. You're a shooting star, and all the years, no one knows just how hard you worked. But now it shows. In one shining moment, it's all on the line. In one shining moment, they're frozen. Time is short and the road is long in the blinking of an eye. That moment's gone, and when it's done, win or lose, you always did your best. Cause inside you knew that in one shining moment, you reached. <laughs>
Ah! <laughs>